Hello, this is CSC Movie Recaps. I'm going to discuss an episode from the Thai mystery thriller series Girl from Nowhere called The Rank Today. In contrast to typical schools, the all-girls high school where the film opens prioritizes beauty more than it values grades, making Ying uncomfortable. The school's headmaster declares in the opening scene that the annual Dazzling Star competition finals will take place soon. The top 10 most attractive students will be recognized, and one will be crowned the year's shining star. The only category the pupils must outperform is beauty in order to win the prize. The winner, according to the director, will be given an honorary trophy, a unique prize, and a number of other benefits for the remainder of the year. The top 10 contestants will also receive extraordinary privileges. She ends the announcement by saying that there are no ugly people in the world, just lazy ones. A new student Nano is in front of the school when a thin leaf falls on her and makes a tiny cut on her cheek. She doesn't flinch or look surprised, almost as if she had been expecting it. But with the scar on her face, she can hardly be the winner of the beauty competition. In the following scene, we are introduced to one of the popular girls named Ying. She is currently ranked in the 10th position in the beauty chart and is famously known as Princess Ten. As she walks through the hallways, her classmates try to snap a picture of her to admire her beauty. The new girl Nano enters the classroom and is made to sit beside Ying by the teacher. Ying is also the class leader so the teacher wants her to help Nano catch up with the others. Ying happily welcomes the new girl to the seat beside her but it isn't clear if she genuinely wants to be Nano's friend, or considers her an enemy. Nano is just as beautiful as Ying. If not even prettier, which is clearly making Ying uncomfortable. When she notices the scar on Nano's face, she smiles broadly on her face. She inquires, trying to sound compassionate. Nano tries to brush it off but Ying insists they need to take care of themselves in school and that a scar on the face is a major issue. The teacher urges them to be quiet, interrupting their conversion. Ying takes Nano to the top 10 tower after class. It is a structure reserved only for the top 10 most beautiful girls. The tower offers them delectable food, pricey cosmetics, and a lavish lifestyle that is not available to regular students. Every student has a position in the live updated beauty list. If anyone's face becomes less attractive, their rank is immediately reduced. Every one of them has an app that displays the rankings. Ying invites Nano to accompany her because a top 10 can bring one body inside the tower. The opulent decor captures Nano's attention. They enjoy a delicious lunch and discuss a variety of topics. Nano expresses her gratitude to Ying for giving her the chance to be her friend. Yet Ying's motives are not as noble as she believes. She brags about her top-tier lifestyle and says that if it weren't for her, she would have to dine in the school cafeteria with other students. She receives praise from Nano, who remarks that she is thoughtful, which couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, Ying is barely able to exist outside the top 10 and will do anything to stay there. Nano pulls out a bar of chocolate and begins to devour it after lunch. Ying admires the chocolate but is hesitant to try it out for fear of putting on weight. She takes a tiny bite of it when Nano insists on it. After that, a young woman by the name of Chompu approaches Ying and addresses her as Princess Ten. She has spent the last few years serving as Ying's pawn. Chompu is upset to see Ying and Nano together because Ying used to bring Chompu to the tower as her body. Ying gives her a piece of cake to cheer her up. Chompu is dragged outside by the workmen since she is not permitted to enter the tower alone. Once she leaves, Ying remarks that she feels awful for Chompu due to her large forehead and ugly nose. Nano looks at Ying, well aware of her perception of others as inferior to her due to their appearance. The school's queen and number one on the beauty list, Gade, came just as the bell rang, alerting them to her arrival. She comes down the stairs and is greeted like a real queen. Ying introduces Nano to the other stunning girls. Nano makes the uplifting remark that Ying deserves to be this year's queen because she is just as attractive as Gade. Then, Ying tells her to use the app to scan her face in order to find out her rank. But when the app displays Nano as being in 11th position, her face falls. Nano is seen smugly glancing at her as she walks away. She is aware that Ying is only acting morally upright. 
The next day Ying awakens with a big pimple on her nose. The app then informs her that due to the pimple, she has fallen to position 11. She has been replaced in the top 10 beauty lists by Nano. She squeezes the zit, which makes it worse. The girls at school who once followed her around for pictures now make fun of her red nose. When Ying notices that her minions have surrounded Nano and are admiring her attractiveness, her day is further made worse. Everyone is silent when she enters the room. A girl inquires about her story and inquires whether she had eaten anything delicious prior to the breakout. A girl asks if she consumed anything delicious before getting the zit. Ying suddenly recalled the chocolate that Nano had given her. She starts to worry that she's intentionally giving her sweets so that a pimple may appear. Because of habit, Ying enters the top 10 tower at lunch, but the staff asks her to leave. Nano tries to assist her by offering to be her plus one, but the former Princess Ten declines and says she misses the cuisine in the cafeteria. But, she nearly chokes after taking a bite of the dish there. She feels worse when the other students laugh at her outburst. Then, much worse, she uses the public restroom. She steps inside and spreads toilet paper, but she is forced to leave as a lizard drops on the ground close to her. She is unsatisfied outside of the comfort of the top 10 tower, to put it mildly. When one of her former henchmen informs her that she is now in the sixth spot on the top 10 list, she is looking for cosmetic procedures in a magazine. Ying is in awe since everyone she previously believed to be beneath her is now on the list. She tears up as she flees, fearing that she may lose her beauty. She runs into Chompu outside the store but stays silent. Nano makes a suggestion in Chompu's ear about fell cause of Ying's failure. The following morning, when Ying awakens, she discovers that the medication has totally healed her acne. As she realizes she is back at number 10 on the list, she squeals with joy. Even her pals find her too cheery at school to be strange. She offers to play swing with one of her henchmen, but she declines. Instead, the girl displays the updated rating, which still places her at number 11. Ying is devastated once more. Shino invites her to swing with her in an effort to cheer her up. Ying, however, has other ideas. She pushes Nano off the swing because she is sick of playing it safe and wants to move up the list. The unfortunate girl stumbles and hits her head, bruising her eyes. She is consequently demoted, and Ying resumes her position as princess number 10. She doesn't even help, instead, she steals Nano's bow tie and enters the tower. Yet, as soon as she walks away, Nano opens her eyes, as if she had planned this in advance. The top 10 girls inside the tower begin to criticize Ying even though they are unaware that she is sitting on the sofa. They make fun of her for always being 10th in everything. According to Queen Gade, Ying's failure in life is due to her mother's DNA. The females laugh. She makes the decision to exact revenge on them all once they depart. That very day, she carries out her plan. She first uses a feral cat to assault the girl in the sixth position. She cuts a girl's hair and brows after knocking her out. She adds a substance to the beverages of the females who placed second and third that gives them a hairy face. Gade is now the sole opponent she needs to take down. Gade's urn becomes green as a result of her mixing facial lotion with permanent dye. The top beauty app has bugs since the rankings fluctuate so dramatically. Ying arrives at school the following day to find it empty. The top end tower is similarly in poor shape and the trash from the previous days hasn't been cleaned. Nano is there when she walks in. 
Nano ends up being in third place despite having a battered face because most of the top 10 girls have fallen to the bottom of the list. Gay descends the stairs as they converse. After working so hard to become the brightest star, she doesn't want to be demoted to 10th place. Gade mocks her, saying that someone like her lacks the talent necessary to become a star. Ying, who has become enraged, attacks Gade. The top 10 girls from the past are jealous of her. Thank you.